Do you have one of these 2023 KTM XC bikes that's like riding a rock like a Flintstones mobile because it's so stiff? <laughs> Okay, maybe it's not that bad, but I couldn't be more excited today because I'm going to install some premium suspension on this bike. Yes, that's right. Last fall, I tested, or last year, whenever it was, I tested these forks right here, these cone valve WP, WP cone valve forks on my 2022 250XC, and uh, I was just borrowing these forks. Well, guess what? I've now bought the forks and I bought a new shock uh, because the shock was not, the old shock didn't work on these new bikes. So now I had Moto Experts build me a shock for this 23 bike and now I'm gonna use the forks off the, that I was testing off the 22 and the shock is now, and this stuff is all mine because I bought this stuff. It actually made enough of a difference to me last year where I'm like, I'm gonna bite the bullet. And what I'm gonna do is because this is so expensive, this stuff is about five, five between five and six grand depending on where you go and how you do it um, i'm going to put this on multiple bikes so i'm going to basically just say instead of revalving my bikes to make them softer i'm going to make one of my bikes a premium premium bike and i'm going to have premium components on there and i'm going to try to use that on at least three motorcycles because a lot of times our revalves are between 1500 and two grand so now i'm going to take care of these components and use this on two or three bikes to kind of amortize amat amor amortize amortize um, the cost so i'm going to strip this thing down we're going to put the forks on we're going to put the shock on and i couldn't be more excited because the 250xc has been my favorite bike of all time since 2017 when i first had one but these 23 bikes are pretty darn stiff i know because i've had the 125 xc the 250xc and the 300 xc and i've got another 300 xc coming and i want this one to be a little bit plusher a little bit softer and i want it to be amazing so we're going to kick on the suspension here as with anything, there's a few different ways that you can do a job like this. I like to just take my subframe and lift it up. So that, that involves taking off my tank, my seat, my tank, and then taking off my silencer and then unscrewing the bolts out of the subframe down here, loosening this top uh, subframe bolts, uh, loosening my air intake boot um, off the uh, intake manifold there, or the throttle body, and then just swinging this thing up. And that gives me a un restricted access here into my shock and so i will just take this top bolt out this bottom bolt out and then this thing will just uh flip out and we'll put uh, the cone valve or the tracks shock i should say the track shock in this thing and then slap it all back together i had a lot more footage of this but then something happened with my camera and anyway so i only have a little bit of what i shot today i've already got the left hand uh fork done the cone valve is already in there and i like doing them doing them one at a time because then the bike doesn't fall off the stand when you take both forks out it's like the bike is so like rear end heavy because there's no front wheel there's no front forks and it likes try to it tries to fall kind of off the back of the stand a lot of times depends on the frame and depends on the bike or whatever but now i'll stuff this uh, cone valve fork back up in here and then you'll notice I'm just gonna kind of get it snug. I'm looking at the lines on the top of the fork, and if you want to change the character characteristics of your bike, you should you should play around with your fork height because like two or three millimeters up on the top of the forks, whether you how far they stick up out of the top or how far down they are inside the fork, triple clamps, makes the bike feel totally totally different. If you want your bike to feel, to feel more stable, drop those forks down in the triple clamps. That will essentially lengthen your wheelbase and make your bike feel more stable, especially at speed. But if you want it to corner battle better and to feel lighter, you want those forks higher up in the triple clamps. Uh, I'm just going to torque uh, these bolts here down on the brake. Um, I think the footage got out of order here, but uh, these are nice. I do put a little bit of Loctite on those typically as well. So just going to kind of put everything back in, you know, your brake line. And then the next shot, which I will have, should be me putting in the axle into the forks here. And I'm not ready to put the tire on, but this helps me to see if my forks are bound up or if they're at the same height up above. So I will stick my axle through here um, and then just verify that I can twist it really easily with my with my fingers here and it's not binding up. If that is binding up, then you want to go up to your uh, triple clamps and raise or lower you know, one of the forks respectively. On these uh, KTMs, the bottom... Uh, the bottom triple clamp is 12 newton meters, so I'm just doing that on this on the bike and just making sure that they're 12 newton meters. The top is 17 newton meters, and it's a good place to make sure you're torquing your bolts. 
So that's it, I've got the fork in, the, both the forks installed and set to the same height. Uh, I know that my fork is not on a bind down there at the bottom on the axle. Uh, we've got our track shock installed and this track shock has a really cool way to adjust your preload or your sag with just an eight millimeter um, bolt or socket right here that you, you're adjusting. I don't have all my gear, so I'll need to have all my gear, my riding gear and my riding pack and everything, and, and then stand up on the bike and do that. Uh, I'm not gonna do that today because I still need to install a radiator fan on this bike because this bike I'm gonna set up for enduro and mountain single track and all that kind of stuff. And if, you're, if the speeds are slow, if you're gonna be in first gear very much, you're, you're gonna need a radiator fan. So I will install that here, meaning I need, I need to drain my coolant out uh, and then you know, pull this radiator off, install the radiator fan, run power, up to it um, and do that. So I'm gonna do that at another day. I don't know if I have time tonight, but anyway, that's why the tank isn't back on the bike, the tank and the seat. Everything else is installed though, but I'm super excited to see how this premium suspension really changes the char characteristics of this bike because these 23 models are very quite stiff. And the way that they come valved, they come for fast desert racing. It's not really for uh, slower enduro stuff. So this should be this should be amazing and we'll see uh, Thanks for thanks to Kevin over at Moto Experts in Spanish Fork, Utah He did a custom valving for me on these forks and on the shock and that's really key You're gonna buy a really expensive set of suspension like this and the valving is gonna make all the difference in the world So it's got to be done, right? You've got to make sure that that is a uh, valve for you and it's not like too stiff or too um, too soft and that is going to be key. So I'm excited to get uh, some more time on this bike after I get the radiator fan installed. Uh, I also installed some Flow Motorsports uh, stainless steel foot pegs down here. They're supposed to be unbreakable. Um, I'm not usually that hard on foot pegs anyway, but these are, these are pretty fun. So anyway, the bike is just about ready to go for reals. Uh, if we can get Snowmageddon here in Utah to stop. Here I am in the middle, late, later part of March. March 20th when I'm filming this, I probably shouldn't say that because I never know when these videos are gonna come out, um, but have only ridden this bike one time. Um, in fact, and I've got two other bikes in the shop that haven't ridden at all. I've got ridden at all. I've got the TM300 FI, TM ENES300 FI, whatever it is. <laughs> haven't ridden that bike yet. Ho hopefully get out on it soon if we can ever get some dry weather out here. So anyway, I'm gonna put that radiator fan on this bike and then get this sucker ready to go, but premium suspension installed.